Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Pamela Prasad de Sessa, and the Red Parliament for Supreme. Mr. Suku is going to join us on the head table as well. And Mr. Suku, your timing is perfect. I'm just going to give him just a couple minutes to orient himself as we uh, get ready to call him to the microphone to bring greetings on behalf of the Pinal Baby regional corporation but he's accustomed to such things so i don't think he actually needs to sit and take a breath he is he's good to go ladies and gentlemen mr prem chan Sukhi, chairman of the final baby regional corporation the honorable nizam baksh chairperson council deputy ramnath and you the very important people of katris mendes and surrounding areas not forgetting the executives, the managers, and the entourage of TNTEC. Now, I'll be very, very brief here. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this is our third function. But however, we have another function. And what is very, very important, it was only possible, it was only possible as a result of the People's Partnership Government and our beloved Prime Minister, today TNTEC has actually mandated to light the many recreation grounds. And I want to commend TNTEC together with the Minister, not forgetting our Prime Minister, this is our 24th recreation ground in Pinal Debe would be lit tonight. Commendation. And I must indicate here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, is a result of hard work, as a result of commitment, as a result of dedication, and not forgetting, as a result of instruction from our Prime Minister, that here it is, Mendes, and all the other recreation ground in Pinal Debe and Trinidad and Tobago would be lit. So again, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation to wish you all the best and may God continue to give us the necessary health, strength, to ensure that our beloved Prime Minister continues office for the next six years. Thank you very much. May God bless us. Thank you very much, Mr. Suku. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome now to the microphone the Minister of Public Utilities, the Honorable Nizam Bashk, to address you. Much, Annabelle. The Honorable Kamala Pasad Bissessa, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and the MP for Siparia, Mr. Prem Chan Suku, Chairman of the Pinal Debe Regional Cooperation, Mrs. Susila Ramkisun Mark, Chairman of TNTEC, Commissioners of TNTEC, Mr. Kelvin Ramsuk, General Manager, TNTEC, Mr. Dipti Ramnath, Councillor for Quina Monjablo, other Councillors of the Pinal Debe Regional Cooperation and other distinguished members of the TNTEC family, residents of Mendes, Trace and Environs, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to everyone, and I join with the MC in welcoming you to this illumination ceremony of the Mendes Trace Recreation Ground. I'm sure, like me, 
you are feeling particularly elated for having our Honourable Prime Minister in our midst this evening to witness with us the transformation of these grounds as we turn on the lights later in a few minutes' time. Honourable Prime Minister, the Ministry of Public Utilities, together with the executing agency of these projects, TNTEC, have been witnessing firsthand throughout the length and breadth of this country several examples of the transformation to which I have referred. Since 2010, we have illuminated some 140 recreation grounds, as well as several other public spaces and a few RHA facilities and the grounds of police stations. But it is the illumination of recreation grounds, such as the Mendes Trace grounds, which gives us the feeling of greatest fulfillment. The reason, Honorable Prime Minister, is that we see through these projects the realization of the vision which you have for this nation, and which have charted the course on which you have set your government to work, to do all within our power to provide a most effective and efficient level of services to the people to ensure a positive impact on the lives of every citizen in this country. Just recently, I was saying that it would be good for us to return to some of the grounds which were illuminated to see the profound changes which have taken place in those communities, changes in the way the youths are now happy and motivated to come out and practice their sporting activities, changes in the way the community feels safe and secure on these lighted grounds, and as they sit and support the teams and changes in the way that new opportunities have been created to make use of this space for either individual, group, or full community events, which can now comfortably move from the evening hours well into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, as simple as these things may seem to go a very long way in improving the quality of our lives of our citizens. And this again has been the concern of the highest priority set by our Prime Minister for the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. She has made improvement in the quality of life of our citizens, the focus of national social policy and the central goal of all our social programs and projects at the central government as well as the local government level. The zeal to achieve and surpass these national outcomes is what is the driving force behind our illumination projects. Recognizing the importance of those objectives, it is imperative that we press on touching every village and community in the country, leaving no one behind. And I can proudly share with you that the government led by our Prime Minister today is the first government to treat all communities in a fair and equitable manner lighting grounds in every constituency in the country. Prior to 2020, we observed, for example, in the East-West Corridor, 41 grounds were lit, but 38 of those grounds were in PNM constituencies. And in the South, 26 grounds were lit, but of which 21 were in PNM constituencies. No equity at all. Today, we have brought equity and fairness into the program and no youth, no boy or girl, no community will be left without lighted playgrounds and recreation grounds as long as this government is in power. Yeah, yeah. As I indicated earlier, we are moving at a very fast pace. We have completed 140 grounds, and we have 40 in various stages of readiness to come on stream. And by the end of this year, I estimate that funding permitting we can complete illumination of 100 grounds. That's our target. And so we are happy to be here in Mendes Trace to deliver this completed project. A well-maintained and illuminated recreation ground is truly a beautiful, beautiful sight to behold. You will now be able to use this ground late into the evening. By extending these hours, the new lights will enable you to reap optimum results from the various activities held at this facility. The government's investment in this particular project amounted to over $900,000. In fact, to be exact, $916,104. A sizable investment by your government into your community. And so I urge you to make the most of it. Take ownership of it. Cherish it and care, well, care for it well. Ensure that the lights are turned on at the right time and they are not left on when not in use. In fact, we have made an arrangement that someone from within the community here 
in discussion with the councillor to allow the control of the switches there by someone in the community that, for instance, if rain is falling, we can take off the lights because no one is going to be on the grounds so that we can conserve some energy cost. Your councillor, Mr. Dipti Ramnath, must also be commended for his assistance in this project and the many others that may impact the communities he rep represent in his electoral district. And above all, I take this opportunity to say a heartfelt thank you to the Honourable Prime Minister and your Member of Parliament, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa. It is on her request that this project has been delivered this evening, and very shortly you are moving over to David Yale Road to commission the lights on that ground also. Your Prime Minister and your MP working for you. Let us give her a lusty round of applause. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let us enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much, Minister Bashkan. I just want to say, gentlemen, um, to you, she would, is probably your, your beloved member of parliament. You, you also would consider her your beloved um, prime minister. I'm not sure which one of the titles you, you call her first, but I want to welcome to the microphone the Honorable Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa, and your member of parliament for Separia to address you. Please welcome her, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Minister of Public Utility. Public Utilities, Mr. Baksh, Chairman of the PDRC, um, Councillor Dipti, your councillor for the area, other councillors who are here with us, the hierarchy of TNTEC, thank you all very much for joining us, and residents here, my constituents, I say good evening to all of you, and thank you for this lovely welcome. My Chairman of the Pinal Debe Regional Corporation um, doesn't see too well from a distance. So when he entered and he came to the head table, he said, Prime Minister, I thought they were placarding you, but in fact, they are welcome. <laughs> so thank you all very much for the welcoming uh, entourage. <laughs> to you all, I'm very happy to join you for a while um, as we turn the lights on on your ground. We've done quite a bit of work in your community, roads and so on. I remember my first job was to get the road network in this entire community stemming all the way back up into from Scotts Road, the whole into Mendes, all of these roads. I remember coming in this very ground when I was in opposition and it was there was a huge protest about the road. At that time I took a petition to the Parliament. I got all of you to sign up, many of you, for us to see what could have been done with the Catres, the Mendes and all of these to no avail. But my words have always been, God doesn't sleep, he only wears pajamas. And I was given the chance as your MP to also be, with your help, to become your Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, I have been able to bring a delivery of some services such as we have never seen in these parts in Trinidad. Never seen before. Um, as uh, Mr. Minister Baksha said, my job is to deliver to all of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. We do not concentrate in any area, as some would have you believe, because you can travel through any part of Trinidad and Tobago, and you will see work taking place everywhere, in every community. Some communities need it more, because some communities never got anything. And therefore, it may appear that more work is being done in certain areas. But if you had every road, every bridge, every street light, every play park, and everything else, then of course you wouldn't be repeating on those, in those communities which had those. And therefore in communities like yours, where there was really a lack of any infrastructure development, and I know because I've been with you for 20, over 25 years, and I know the extent of the neglect of these communities. And therefore I'm very proud that I've had the opportunity to deliver here and in other parts of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> We're still fixing. A lot more to do. Thank you, Mr. Maharaj. Thank you. A lot of work taking place. Um, I want to spend a few minutes with you, so I will not make a very long speech. I want to congratulate Minister Baksh on the great work he's doing with TN Tech and with his ministry, and to thank them, and we give them all the support that we can so that they can deliver uh, on their promises to all of Trinidad and Tobago. So, Minister, thank you very much again. To you all, I thank you for your support as I enter into this, my fifth year in government, thanks to your help. And as we enter into the last year of my first term, we are looking to the first year 
of my second term in office with your help and your support. We will continue to work. May God continue to bless each of you and your families, and may God continue to bless our very great country, Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you all very much. Gentlemen, a round of applause. And for the members who can't see, the plaque actually commemorates the, on the, the commissioning of the lights uh, done by the Prime Minister and the Member of Parliament, as well as the Minister and the... Minister, and your member of parliament has just turned on the switch to officially eliminate this member's recreation ground. We ask you for another round of applause. I'm sure that this is a red letter day that has been long in coming. And uh, as the Prime Minister spends a few minutes with you, we also invite you to have some refreshments and we thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Do uh, there's an increase in the amount of wood being done right about now? I think I need to go. I think you'll have to go support 